Hi, Carrie. Hi. No. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fighting. <laughs> Who are you fighting with? Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a puppy. It's a puppy. Oh, okay. What's his name? Gala. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. Gala. Do you know what is the correct name for a female dog? No. Bitch. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, really. Yeah, it's, it sounds offensive, but I fail on it. You know. But bitch is is actually a female dog. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you look in a dictionary, it says bitch is a female dog. Oh. But but you know because the word now is very offensive, so people say I have a female dog. Uh, okay. <laughs> it sounds better. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello, Eduardo. How are you? All right, I can hear you. Good. <laughs> All right. Since I, I think I have a problem. I think everybody has with a question, with a question 1.2, I think. Yeah. Yes. yes. I don't know if it's a problem. Yeah, the... I, think, I think somebody was writing to me today about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do it. I think okay. we will do that right now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Did everybody have a good trying. weekend? Yes. Good evening. Ay. Hello. Ah, no me muerda. Yeah. One point two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said a one point two. Yeah. Yes, teacher. To, I think I think everybody we, we have the, the, the problem. Everybody. Has. Teacher. Yes. Good evening. Hi. I remember you. Hi, teacher. Good. Good evening. Uh, good evening. I I remember you did this exercise. Yes. And you had uh, had in, uh, you had problems with the uh, the same the yes. same problem that us. <laughs> Yes, I remember. Hold on. I'm looking for one point. Mm. Talking about politics. Mm. Politics? You you want to talk about politics not right now? Or what? No, no, no. I'm, 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 <laughs> let, me, let me read about... I'm sorry. <laughs> I say the 1.2. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought you say let's talk about politics. <laughs> no, I, no, <laughs> because it says it's inappropriate to talk about politics at work or school. Number one, is this the one you're having problems with? Yes. No, yeah. no. Uh, uh, no. Let's check. Uh, one point two. This is one point two, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah one point two. Yeah, one point two. They have problems too. Okay. Um, can you put this? This uh, Do you see this? Um, the correct answer. No. Talking about uh, politics at work or school is inappropriate. Uh, no, no, okay. No. If you check, uh, is inappropriate. Yes, but in the sentence is appropriate to talk. In the. But, uh, you, you, no. But you see you, this. But I type in the the same that you put in the, in the screen. Yes, it, but it's it's it inappropriate. Was Okay, number two. No way. No, 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 how, how is number one I'm going to write it? Wait, okay. According, do you see? Aquí tengo the answer. Do you see the answer? No, I don't yeah. see. Yeah. No. That would be yeah. the correct answer, right? It's, it's next to the box. It says answer. Yeah, but okay. I, 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 I can see it. Here? Yeah, but uh, I can read this. To, 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 to slow that. I can, oh, you can't see it. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it too. Okay, let, let me. It's possible to put to in the chat. 
Okay, can you see now? No. Yeah. No, is, is it yes. short? I can see yeah. it. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, oh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, now can you see? No. Are you sure? Oh, <laughs> I can see. I don't think it can get any bigger. <laughs> and why, why can't see it? I, I, you know, Eduardo, someday I want to go to your house and see your computer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, tell me where you live. I really want to see your computer. You, yeah. Last, yeah, can, I, can, I can you read like, this? I, I have a, a question, teacher. Uh, the number certain hairs to this. Okay, wait, and, hold on, hold on. Let, let's go one by one first. Yeah. Okay. Can you see what I circled here? Yeah. Yes. yes. What does it say? Talking about, about politics, about politics at work or school, it's inappropriate. inappropriate. Okay, so let's put is, not it. So let's write this. It. I don't see it. It's if, yeah, but I, I type in the saying that you are showing on the screen, but it was, it was wrong again. So, which is that, uh, how is that word? I can see it. What? Really, Eduardo? I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why you can't see it because yeah, everybody I can. can. Yeah, I, can I think see. everybody can see it, correct? All right. Yes, yes teacher. Wow, I mean, no, I just see a, a little words. See? <laughs> Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got me there. I don't know what to tell you. Because... <laughs> I don't know what's going what on. If, can you go? Do you, what about if you go to um to your screen where you have the three points? Yes, I see it. The three points. Okay. And that there you I... can say zoom. The number. Zoom. Zoom. This is Zoom. Do you yes. see my screen right now? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes. Do you see the top right corner? I see a slow. I see a little. It's I don't often. know why. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, um. According to the system, okay, aunque le hicieron así, let's do it and let's type it like this and let's see if the, if the platform lets us. This is number one, there's in the chat. According to the system, if it's still wrong, then I'm sorry, then you tell them, look, it's wrong, the teacher gave us the correct answer and it's still wrong. I have the right. Okay, you got it right? Yeah, okay, the first that's number and the one. second. Okay. Okay, Eduardo, do you see the chat? No, that's the problem. I don't know what I'm trying to do it. In the chat? Yeah. No, you don't see the chat there. either? No, I have a problem in my computer. Yeah, we know. Oh, yes. Why, <laughs> okay. why you don't try with your... <laughs> Eduardo, why do you uh, yeah. try with your uh, cell phone? With your I'm cell phone. I am I'm trying with my cell phone and I, I see very clear... Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to go go, go out right now. Oh, again. Yes, because I. Okay. Someone each. Okay, good. So we have number two. It says using certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries. So according according to this, this is number two. So can you copy paste that and tell me if you get it right? Well, we'll see at the end. Okay, are you ready for number three? Yes, teacher. Okay, it says asking someone's age is often considered rude. So then the answer, if it's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Okay. Why did we get that one wrong? Mm -hmm. It's often 
considered rude to ask someone's age. That's what we wrote. Yep. Mm -hmm. I cannot get it right either. I'm just typing the same thing you have there. Okay. Let's, this is number three. It's often considered to someone else. <laughs> well. Okay, see, I know. I, I was gonna ask, Eduardo, see, do you yeah. see the chat yeah, now? Not, yeah, not, 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 now I can see it, yeah. I don't know what was the problem. Do you use uh, Windows or, or are you in a Mac? No, it's Windows. Do you use uh, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer? Uh, I think I think Internet Explorer. Try opening it uh, in Chrome. Yeah, but, but not, now I, I can see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next, it says number four. It's not unusual to be loved by everyone. Teacher, I I copy the same sentences that you put in the chat and. My exercise, it was wrong. I don't know. Yes, yes. Yeah, the number three is, yeah, is number wrong. Three is, is it's wrong. wrong. And you know, the, then if you get an email, if you get a message of them telling you this, can you please tell them? Okay. Because we're doing copy paste right now. And if you notice, look at look at me right now. When I when I put it in, se me quita la X. So then, voy a ver al final if the system is recognizing my answers as right. Yeah. Okay, so it's not unusual in the US to address a professor by his or first name. So in the U, oh, okay. In the US addressing, really that's not, okay. In the US, Okay, I'm going to copy paste right now. Okay. Let's do that. So in the US, addressing a professor by his or her first name isn't unusual. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand one thing. This is one of the correct ways. There, there are like four different ways of saying this correctly. Okay. Okay. But this is according, the system only accepts one. I don't really like that because, you know, look at all the trouble this gives. Yes. Okay. Next, it says number five hugging friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. In many cultures. In many cultures, it's customary to hug friends when you meet them. Um, here is friends when you greet them. Hmm. Great time. All right, let's try mm -hmm. number six. Six. Asking strangers if they are married is inappropriate in some countries. In some countries. Yes. Uh, maybe the comma was wrong here. If they are married. Countries. It's all right, there's number six. Good. To ask, to ask a stranger, a stranger. Okay, I'm going to submit if it's wrong and in the system is wrong because they all have been copy paste from the right answer. 
Mm-hmm. You see no more X. Yes. Someone said number three? The, the number three is wrong. Yeah, the number if three. often considered really to us. Okay, let's see. Wow. Look, and, and I go here, look, show the answer. And there's the answer. I do the same thing. I copy paste. Uh -huh. It's strange. Let me see. <laughs> no teacher. <laughs> okay, this, imagine, what can I tell the system? Okay, I'm copying your answer and you are wrong. <laughs> Let's read, it's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Asking someone's age but is often considered. Is correct? It is. I don't But I want to see maybe I'm, I'm looking for, no, I mean, there's no commas here. No. See. Or uh, rule, rule, comma? Yeah. Maybe. Let's try. Let's it. Yes. Rule, comma, I think. Yeah, but I mean, it has to be a same sentence. It's one whole sentence. Mm. Okay. It's after consider rude. To ask someone's age. Okay, let's do this. To ask someone, or I doubt this is correct, but oh, for their age. Oh, now we have two wrong. Hmm. But the first one, maybe. <clears throat> but the first one is correct. Maybe they miss the 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 periods and the end to the sentence. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, better. Okay, it is often rude to ask someone for their age. It's often. Let's do one. Hey, I got it right now. <laughs> Let's do this. Often it's rude. I, don't, I doubt it's going to be that middle. Often it's considered rude. Okay, so class, um, I'm sorry, but <laughs> the platform is not giving the correct answer. Yeah. Yes, and what better proof is right here? Look. Mm -hmm. Copy paste.
and right now we're beating a dead horse. <laughs> Do you know that expression? Yeah. Mm. Mm, I don't remember. What's oh, that, what's Guillermo, that what, what is that expression? Tell us. Tell the class. Well, I think the, when you use that expression, I think that you are trying to say that you're doing something that you are going to have any result. Yes. It's like you are doing it by nothing mm -hmm. or for nothing. Yep. Yes. Beat. Let's go. Right? Mm -hmm. Dead horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when, so it's no use to beat a dead horse. Come on, could you scroll down, please? I I want to see the the answer for the five and. Oh, hold on. Can so you please you, show the answers? Sure, hold on. So Thank do you, you. Under, do you understand the difference for beat a dead horse now? Hmm. No, es um, es como que se está haciendo un trabajo en vano, something like that. Ah, okay, okay. Ya, ya no tiene uso, o sea, para qué estamos golpeando el caballo si está muerto. <laughs> Eso es, estamos golpeando un caballo muerto. En English tiene más lógica, pero como son modismos. Por eso yeah. a veces modismos no tienen mucha lógica en, en otro idioma, sino en el propio. To, okay. Tomorrow, teacher, if I I will I will give you exercise. I I don't know if is is a exercise of listening that I don't understand. Um, it's about a uh, actor that oh, okay. he he is <clears throat> he tell tell about the tells about the different uh, occupation that he he had before that uh, he will become to to an actor, actor. before and he became an actor became mm -hmm. an actor yes and it's very difficult i i i wrote a painter a taxi taxi driver mm -hmm. uh, i don't remember the he worked in a department, department store, store in the luggage yes. department, but I I can I can uh, answer uh, correct co right right uh, I, I don't know what what's the problem and I don't know if my fr my my friends ha have the same problem I don't know okay if, we'll do that you know it's pretty much that um. I don't know why, and I'm really sorry about this, but the platform every time it gives problems. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with the number, the number two, the, the, the this exercise. Oh, okay, the listening number. Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the only, only, only the number two. Okay, with this, with with the screen right now. Okay. With this exercise. Okay, look. Um, do you see my I screen? Put right it in yes, the chat. Yes. Uh, the exercise that there's a is telling about, I put in the chat. Okay, but I is about ah, okay. have to write occupations. What are this. you talking about? Number two, I muchas number twos. What are you talking about? Do you see the screen right now? 2.10? 2.12. Yes. 2. Uh, okay, 2. good. 10. See, that, that's okay. That's why I need you to help me because right now I am in 2.10. Yeah, I'm a 2.12. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, teacher. Yeah, so, okay, good. But thank you. So, <clears throat> tell me, hey, I have a problem in the second question in exercise 2.12. Oh, ah, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, let's, let's do this real quick. Adverbs with a simple past and past perfect. All right? Okay. Yes, let's tell me if you, if you can hear, tell me. Yes, the adverbs help us to understand the order of events. Hello, this time we'll look at words like later, the next day, up until then, among others. These words are used either with simple past or past perfect. Adverbs with a simple past and past perfect. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe something that happens at a later time. Afterwards, later, the next day, we laughed about it. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe two things that happened at the same time. 
when, as soon as, the moment I got to work, my boss asked to speak to me. Use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Up until then, before that, until that time, I had never lost anything important. This is a pretty straightforward topic, but we're studying our adverbs of time, which help to clarify when an event or situation in the past took place in relation to another event or situation. If I say to you, I was embarrassed because I called the teacher mom, afterward we all laughed about it. Which action happened first? That's right, I called the teacher mom. What if I say the moment I got in the shower the telephone rang? Again, which action happened first? Perfect, they happened at the same time. And finally, if I say, Anne went to Japan last year. Before that, she had only traveled to Florida. Which place did Anne go to first? Florida, right? So if you notice, the adverbs help us to understand the order of events. Okay. Let's see the exercise. Okay, now we're in 2.11. It says instruction, match the sentence with the illustration. Read the sentences and type A or B according to the picture. Just type the letter in, no capital letter or period is needed. Okay. Number one, this morning I was on my way to work. B. Letter B. Letter B. Last night, I was telling a joke at a dinner party. A. A. All right. I was backing my car out of the garage. B. 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 I got to the punchline. I knocked a glass of water on the floor of my... Um, with my hand. A, A, A. She had never parked in front of my driveway. B. B. And number six, I noticed everyone laughed. I wasn't sure if they were laughing at the joke or at me. A. A. Oh, wow. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. Here's the, where we had the problems, right? In two point two. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Right. Okay, let's let's do the listening first. Okay. Yes, so teacher. we can remember. Listen to an interview with actor Tom Wiley. What jobs does he talk about? Welcome back, everyone. We are talking to Hollywood star Tom Wiley. Before the break. We were talking about your life, Tom, before you became a big star. I mean, you didn't just become a star overnight. You struggled for many years. You can say that again. Tell us a little about it. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, I think I must have worked 20 or 30 different jobs. Really? That's a lot. Well, in the beginning, I couldn't find steady work as an actor, so I had to do something to put food on the table. You have to eat, right? That's interesting. So, what kinds of jobs did you have? A little bit of everything, I guess. I worked as a taxi driver, in a department store, and painting houses, to name a few. I wasn't good at any of them. I think I ended up getting fired from most of those jobs. Oh, yeah? Come on, tell us a few stories. This is so embarrassing. Well, one time I was working for a big department store in Chicago in the luggage department. It was so boring. I mean, we didn't have many customers during the day, and that's when I worked. Sometimes, when I got sleepy, I used to lie down behind the luggage racks and take a nap. So, what happened? Well, one day I got caught by my boss, and he fired me on the spot. It was terrible. Then there was the time I decided to paint houses. 
you know, you have to climb these high ladders to do the job, right? Well, it turned out that I was afraid of heights. The first time I climbed up a ladder, I got dizzy and fell and broke my wrist. No. Yes. But the worst thing was that when I fell, I knocked the paint over and it came down all over my co-workers. So, naturally, I got fired again. Any other war stories? Well, you're not going to believe this, but I got hired as a cab driver. I drove a taxi, but that only lasted a few days. Did you get fired? How did you guess? On my third day, I had an accident. Luckily, no one was hurt. My passenger was fine, but it scared me to death. That was enough for me, and that was the end of my days as a driver. It seems you're a little accident prone. It's a good thing you made it as an actor. Yes, I guess you could say that. Thanks for sharing your stories with us. Coming up after the break, we'll talk with Tom about his latest movie, scheduled for release in September. Okay, what did you guys put? Taxi driver. Okay. One Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Second, two. department store. Okay. And third one, painting okay. house. House painter. House painter. House, house painter, painter is correct. Okay. Really? House painter? Okay. House, yes, it is. It's a, number, it is, it is the, number three. The, 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 okay. The, I mean, house painter is number three. It's number three. Yeah. Uh-huh, yes. And the number two? I don't know. Number two? It's department bent or I, I don't know. Department said that he worked at Logash. It's, it's not exactly the occupation, the Yes. They don't mention the occupation. Yes, only taxi driver. Clear. All right. Logash or something like this. The luggage department, yeah. Yes. Let's try that. Let's try that. The luggage department. Oh. Post buying paint. Department store clerk. Department store clerk. Ah, clerk. Oh, yeah. Clerk. I was going to. But then, ah, uh, <laughs> store clerk, yes. Okay, department store clerk. But he he didn't mention department store. Uh, department store, yes, but clerk, you know. Yes, uh, in, the, in the department of luggage. Yes, mm -hmm. but not clerk. Mm -hmm. But but clerk is what you call people that work in a like in because uh, yes, dependent yeah. mm, okay mm -hmm. like example where do you work in Siman oh but Siman has many departments many departments oh. um, you know like many type of positions like you can be a janitor you can be a boss you can be a accountant or you can be Porque no sería salesperson. In teoría, you are a salesperson. Um, you, know, you can say, um, oh, I am a, I am a clerk in the technology department. Okay, when you work on a department, it's a clerk. It's yeah. not a seller, right? Mm, yes. Mm. Okay, clerk sell you must because I don't only sell. I work for the whole store okay. and I help if you have any questions, blah, blah. But what you do is you're a seller. Okay. Mm. Pero soy mejor clerk. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Cool. Thank you. We got them all right. Now let's go to the next. Okay, now we have listening um, instructions. Listen to a call in a radio show, then choose the phrases, the phrase that best completes each sentence. All right, let's listen to Jonathan is going to. It's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about. And uh, the movie Jonathan mentions is, the movie Jonathan mentioned, Ivana, is, the movie Jonathan mentions. He's not appropriate to talk about. Elisa, um, Elisa advises Jonathan too. Okay, let's listen.
Welcome to Ask Eliza, the radio show about manners. Our first caller is Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. What's your question today? Well, I just got a new job, and I'm going to a big company dinner next weekend. All the directors and managers will be there, so I'm pretty nervous. Let me guess. You've never been to a formal dinner before. That's right. And you're wondering what's appropriate and what's considered bad form. Exactly. I just don't know what to say. Well, talking about your personal life isn't a good idea. And asking your coworkers and managers personal questions can be considered inappropriate. So what do people talk about? At these kinds of events, it's typical to talk about less personal topics, such as travel, weather, and entertainment. Have you seen any good movies lately? Yeah, I just saw Crazy Motorcycle Killers. What a great movie. Uh, Killers? Maybe that's <laughs> not such a good one to talk about. What are you reading these days? Hmm. Oh, I'm reading a biography about David Beckham. It's really interesting. That's better. You can talk a little about that. But be sure to ask questions, too. It's always best to listen more than you talk, especially when you're new. Okay. I feel a little more prepared now. Thanks, Eliza. No problem, Jonathan. And remember, have a good time. Okay, so Jonathan is going to... Uh, business, a business, business, meeting. Meeting. business meeting. Good. It's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about his personal, his personal, life. personal life. The movie Jonathan mentions is not, it's appropriate, not appropriate to talk, to talk about. about. Um, Eliza advises Jonathan to talk, talk less, less and listen, and listen more. more. All right. Let's hear uh, part two. Just Listen to a news report about a robbery. Then check true or false. And now for our local news. There was a robbery on Friday at Kate's Kitchen, a local restaurant on Beach Street. Kate Miller, the owner and manager of Kate's Kitchen, was counting money late at night after the restaurant closed. According to Miller, two nervous-looking women knocked on the window and asked for help. Miller was worried someone was after them, so she let them in. When Miller opened the door, the women pushed her to the floor and took the money, about $2,000 in cash. Luckily, Miller wasn't injured and is currently working with local police to recover the money. A security video from a nearby apartment building shows two women matching Miller's description running past the door of the building. Police think this video shows the two robbers as they fled the scene. Police also received a tip from two neighbors who were out walking their dogs at the time of the robbery. They saw two women driving away in a blue car. If anyone has any information about the robbery, please call Police Precinct 245. All right. The robbery took place early in the morning. Four. Oh, wow, so it was a night, right? Two thousand yeah. dollars were stolen from the restaurant. True. True. A security video shows two women running from the scene. True. 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 The robbers drove away in a black truck. Four. Oh. Blue car. Blue truck. It was. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, we got them all right. Yeah. Now, a ver, mañana van a salir wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, when it's right, take a screenshot. <laughs> yes. Okay, now it says here choose the words. All right, choose the best word that best completes each sentence. When someone gives you a gift, thank you. It's, it's polite, polite, it's polite to, say to say thank you. Yes, it's polite to say thank you. Number two, it's blank to talk about your personal problems at work. 
Bad form. Bad, bad form. Good. Asking women her age can be a blank in many countries. Cruel. Teacher, in this uh, question, asking women their age? Here. Yes. Okay, their, okay. Asking women, no, but you know, that's a very good point. Women is plural. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Their age. And can be a rule. Can be rule. A rule, rule in a oh, it's, it can be sense, rule. right? You, you can, can say, be rule. Okay, yes. Can okay. Look, the correct way would be look. It's at sumo que quiere decir esto es. Asking women their age can be rude in many countries. Okay. Yes. Without the a, right? Without the a, yes. a is only. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is not correct. Uh, thank you for that. Women is plural, so the plural, the um, possession is there. is there. Yes. And next we have number four. It's blank to brag about your accomplishments. Bad form. form. It's bad form. Yeah, it is a bad form. It is a bad form. Number yes. five. Yes. Every time, number three, too. Uh, it's number two. A bad form. It's a bad form. Okay, number five. Calling a colleague late at night is inappropriate. Inappropriate. It's inappropriate. 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 Very good. So say inappropriate. Ina. 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 Appropriate. 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 Inappropriate. Inappropriate. There you go. Inappropriate. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I recommend you that when when sometimes you can't pronounce a word because it's too long, say it in syllables. Inappropriate. Um, inappropriate. Yeah, inappropriate. Five syllables. Say it inappropriate. in. Say it in three. Say it in two. Say it in one, until you finish it. That's the best way you can pronounce something, okay? Okay, thank you. For example, aquí, mm -hmm. in a, in a oh, okay, good. So, ina, pro, pi, et. Ina, pro, pi, et. Ina, pro, pi, et. So, you can start ina, pro, pi, et. Et. Three syllables, then say it in two, and then say it in one. Ina, pro, pi, et. Inappropriate. 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 Okay. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. And sometimes if you need to clap, it's good. Inappropriate. <laughs> In, uh, yes. <laughs> it works. Okay. Um, part two, it says people blank about recent rise in crime in our area. Have, have been talking. Been talking. I've been talking. Lately, I blank in my neighborhood crime watch program. I have participated. The two mm. are correct, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. Over the past few months, we blank the police six times. Have cold. We have, have cold. cold. Have cold. Okay, good. Number four, thieves into the corner twice this week. Have broken. Have been have broken. Been broken. Have broken. Have broken. Yes, have broken. I blank about moving due to height crime in her area. Uh, has been, has been, been thinking. Okay, good. And has thought too would be correct. Okay, luckily okay. my family blank mm -hmm. any trouble so far. Uh, uh, has not had. Has not had. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. 
All right, we got Ooh. them all. Yeah. Ooh. What? Yeah, tomorrow I want to see if it's if it's still. Like <laughs> okay, then here we have. Oh. Don't touch the oven; it's hot. She warned me she not warned to. Me. She warned me. She warned me not. Not to touch the oven, right? Okay. Did he ask her to come? He went to know if he asked her to come. The second. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He you warned shouldn't... me not to. I'm sorry? Hmm? I'm sorry, what happened? The first, the first, she warned not to. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, she warned me not to. She warned me not to touch the mm -hmm. oven. It's hot. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't eat that. Sam advised me not I to. Okay. Interrupting is rude. He explained. He explained. That's rude. This product works. Yeah. They have claimed. It claimed that the product works. <laughs> claimed. Okay, good. Because claimed is something positive, or like in this case, yeah. the ad warned. It's like, uh oh. Warned you. You should start a blog. Laura encouraged me to. Encourage me. Encourage me. Good, it says part two, instructions. Read Here the quotation. Again. Sorry? Here we go again. <laughs> what happened? No, nothing. <laughs> no, those are the same exercise that I never write, you know? Oh, okay. The same. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. I said, here we go again. I thought I thought it was Eduardo saying, here we go again. Like, no. Oh, oh, what happened? <laughs> Instructions, read the question, complete the sentence in the reported speech. I'm writing with Julia. He told me. He was writing. Uh, he was writing. I was, I was writing. He with, told me that he was uh, writing. He was writing with Julia. He Julia. was writing. With I have a hunch this is going to be wrong. I was writing. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's correct, but hmm. he told me that he was writing with Julia. Nancy has never been sick. He said that Nancy has never that Nancy has never, never been, been skin. skin. Nancy <laughs> has never been sick. Has never been skin. Has never been sick. Oh, skiing, I'm sorry. Skiing, skiing. Skiing. Nancy had. Yes. Mm -hmm. That Nancy had oh. never. The first one is he was writing the news. He was writing with Julia. That, mm -hmm. Number three, is anyone ready to leave? Yes. Yes. He asked if anyone is, was if ready anyone, to leave. Anyone was ready. Ready to leave. Anyone was ready anyone to leave. Anyone was ready. Mm -hmm. Pam lost a lot of weight. My mother told me. Pam. Pam lost a lot of weight. Pam lost. Mm -hmm. Let me explain why. That's... Basically, the rule of reported speech, you always go one back. So, yeah. Pam you lost got... a lot of weight. This is simple past. Correct? Yes. 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 So, when you report after simple past, if you go back more, it's present perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
past. So if it's simple present, present, you go simple past. If it's simple past, you go past perfect. Yeah, but that always <laughs> is the correct. Yes. Now, you will see. <laughs> let me see uh, how many we got wrong. Oh, yes, one. But can you show the answer? Yeah, Did I you? am writing with Julia. I am writing that he was writing. Right. I was, I was that I was reading. Mm -hmm. uh, he was writing with Julia. He told me. With that, uh, without that. He told me. He was writing. Mm -hmm. ah, that, wow. Can you show them? O sea, en todos podemos poner that, if, that, except number one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the number four, I uh -huh, I have the another answer and I got it correct. What was your answer? The, the first one, Pam lost a lot of weight without any change. Oh, really? And it, it, yeah. it accepted it? Yeah, you know, you have many, many answers and then you, you can see it says, bam, lost a lot of weight. Okay, screenshot that because tomorrow it's going to say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's going to tell you something different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see here. And here it says, complete each sentence. As soon as I go to class, I'm sorry, as soon as I got to class, my teacher blank as a pop quiz. Gave. Gave. Gave us. Do you know what is a pop quiz? Mm, no. Like a, a surprise quiz? Yeah, pop quiz, a quiz actually, well, yeah, okay, pop, it's a okay, it's surprise, but quiz would be what we say here, un laboratorio. Mm, okay. corto, que le llamo. Corto, yes, it's, uh -huh, it's not really an exam. Just <laughs> exam and exam, it's just a quiz. Un corto. Okay. Ya no existe la corto. <laughs> All right, number two. I got a dog last year. Up until then, I blank any pets. I never uh, had. A I never had. Okay, so, so Sam and Sue got married on Sunday. The next day they blank on a trip. They went. They went. 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 Yes, went. They went on a trip, yes. Number four, my Chinese class went out for dim sun. Before that, I blank. It before. Never taste. Never taste. I, have, I have never. Never taste. I have never tasted. Tasted. <laughs> yes. Teacher. Um, yes. What's the meaning? Dim sum. It's a drink. Ah. <laughs> before that, I have never tasted it before. Lara bought a car this summer. Until that time, she blank how to drive. Uh, he didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. You think it's contraction? Okay, let's. Put. Yes. He didn't know. And. Oops. He didn't know how to drive. Okay, the moment George canceled all his credit cards, he blanked his wallet. Oh, how phone. He, he found. I hate it with that. Found. Found. Yes. It's yes. the moment. I think in the number <laughs> five, it's just didn't know. Uh, without how to. Oh, yes, drive. yes, I'm sorry. You're right, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, let me see how many we got wrong. <laughs> yes. Wow. 
เฮ้ยไอ้หนวยอะคิดเลยบ้าอุ้งอุ้งน่ะไปเป็นตรงเดียวกับอะพอสตรอฟเฟ่ cuando van a hacer una contracción yes where before T no va en la letra que es between and Yes, it's between, but you always put the apostrophe in the letter you take off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my Chinese class went out for dim sum. Before that, I. Oops. Have never I have tasted. Never. I, I have never. Have, have with D. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because look, before that, it's always past. I have never. All right, class. Look, it's all in green. If if you get an email, if you get a message tomorrow, <laughs> tell them, hey, watch the video on YouTube. <laughs> It was all correct. Yes, teacher. <laughs> uh, let me see. We have the reading, but I think we'll continue with that tomorrow. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I hope okay, you have Mr. a happy beginning of the week. It's Monday. And have a happy Tuesday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.